Want to learn engineering and science? Well, you've tuned in to the right channel. Hit subscribe and press the bell icon and never miss an update from us. Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas and it's going to be yet another session in this lecture series based on engineering drawing. Well, today we're going to talk about auxiliary planes and to be very specific, we'll be solving a problem based on plane projection, okay? But with the method of auxiliary planes or with the method of change of reference, whatever you can say. So let's kick off with the problem description. Here we go. So there is this semicircular plate, diameter is 60 millimeters. Obviously the straight edge is in the VP. So make sure that whenever you make this orthographic projection, the straight edge should always be in contact with the vertical plane. Okay. And apart from that, it's also inclined at an angle of 45 degrees to the HP. The straight edge, apart from being in the VP, is also inclined at an angle of 45 degrees with the HP. It's something of this sort, this way. Okay, that's the angle that this straight edge makes with the horizontal plane, 45 degrees. Surface of the plate makes an angle of 30 degrees with the VP. Extremely important. So it's going to be something like this. Watch this, like this. Surface making an angle of how much? 30 degrees from the VP or with the VP rather. Now this angle that it makes with VP can only be seen from the top, right? Okay. So we've got to start, start with step one, initial position or initial assumption of the position. Okay. So surface is making an angle with VP this way. So our initial assumption will be like this. We are going to assume that the entire surface right now is resting on the VP. Then we just got to think from where can we see this true shape of this surface? Well, obviously it's from the front and that's exactly what we're going to make right now. Four parts. Let's name each and every one of them. And let's take a look at this from the top. This curvy portion will appear as a line, something of this sort. This is going to be E comma A, D, B, and that's C. Let me darken it. Yeah. Now in step two, we always go for surface inclination and the surface is making a certain angle with the VP. Okay. Now here we are using auxiliary plane method. Earlier, what we used to do was we recreated this top view. Okay. At an angle of 30 degrees. We recreated it over here again at an angle of 30 degrees and then we sort of worked out the front view. Okay. Squeezed up uh, semicircle you can see. Here instead of rotating or changing the position of this top view, what we'll do is we'll fix a plane over here. An auxiliary vertical plane this way. Okay. Which is going to pass through this EA because EA is always uh, supposed to be in contact with the vertical plane. That's why. And we're going to keep this plane at an angle of 30 degrees. And the remaining steps are going to be very easy. You need to draw lines from these three points such a way that they intersect this X1, Y1 at an angle of 90 degrees this way. So what essentially we are creating is a front view over here. And this is what I call the auxiliary front view. Now, In order to create this new front view, this old front view has to be taken as the reference. So you need to take arcs of all these points with respect to X, Y and need to, you need to put them up over here with respect to X1, Y1. Very simple. So keep one leg of your compass here, other leg at A dash with that much amount as the radii and with this as the center, okay, this X1, Y1 here as the center, you're going to make this arc and that's precisely point A dash. That's it. Simple. Okay. Let's say we want to have point B dash. So keep one leg over here of your compass. In fact, other leg at B dash with that much amount as the radii and with this as the center, you need to cut an arc over here. That's point B dash. Let's say we want to have point C dash. So keep one leg of your compass here, other leg over here. And with that much amount as the radii, this is the center cut an arc. That's point C dash. Similarly, the remaining points can be worked out. And this is exactly what you're going to get a squeezed up sort of a uh, semicircle, you can say. Okay. So that's it. So we've inclined the surface. Okay. Now what needs to be done is in the final step, we have to go for edge inclination and the edge is making an angle of 45 degrees with the HP, the HP. So in, in, uh, in the environment of auxiliary planes, uh, what we'll do is instead of rotating this and fixing this or adjusting this at an angle of 45 degrees with the HP, what I'll do is I'll have an auxiliary inclined plane over here. Okay. And I'll make sure that this plane is at an angle of 45 degrees with respect to this edge. That's it. So that's the auxiliary inclined plane in which you're going to be obtaining the auxiliary top view. And for that to happen, you need to draw or produce line from all these points such that they intersect this plane. Okay. 
at an angle of 90 degrees and this is exactly what you're gonna get now let's say uh, we want to have point a okay so point a is somewhere along this line point b is somewhere along this line but how to obtain them now guys remember this what are we doing we are creating the auxiliary top view so this top view the top view just before this one has to be taken as the reference now before x2 y2 we have this x1 y1 so what we'll do is we'll take the reference of this top view with respect to x1 y1 we're, we're going to take arcs of all these five points with respect to x1 y1 and we're going to put them up over here with, with respect to x2 y2 that's exactly what we're going to do so first of all the distance of point a from x1 y1 is how much zero it lies on x1 y1 therefore here we're going to have point a it's that simple the distance of point b from x1 y1 is this much so keep one leg of your compass here other leg over here and with this as the center cut an arc that's point b now let's say we want to have point c so keep one leg over here other leg over here and with this as the center cut an arc and that's precisely the location of point c what about d you need to take this as the radius keep one leg over here other leg over here and with where the hell is d yeah here it is with this as the center cut an arc that's point d and as far as e is concerned the distance is obviously zero since it entirely lies on x1 y1 therefore point e will be somewhere here and when you join all of them this is exactly what you're gonna get that's the final top view okay now i would strongly suggest all of you to check out this link over here wherein i solved the same problem with the help of change of position method okay and remember this guys whenever you speak of an auxiliary inclined plane that's where you're gonna have the auxiliary top view when you speak of an auxiliary vertical plane um you always get an auxiliary front view here the surface was supposed to be inclined with the vertical plane so in the environment of auxiliary planes we did not change the position of this okay rather we fixed an auxiliary vertical plane over here which apparently looks like a line from the top okay so that's it that's exactly what we've done and that's the final top view so guys that was all from my side for today if you've got any doubt or query do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has added a value to your knowledge of engineering drawing or engineering graphics then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you get a notification you get an update and don't forget to let your friends know about this channel so that they can also benefit anyways i'm gonna be back with more such videos on drawing and mechanics until then it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care. Have a great day. Keep learning. Keep drawing.